Hello to all, I am Dr. Vishnu. In this video, I am going to address a very, very common question that many of you ask me. And it is regarding how to study pharmacology easily or what are the best books or which is the, you know, one of the best references to, you know, study pharmacology easily. And when I'm talking about easily, it doesn't mean that it's just for your exams. Like many of you are preparing for competitive exams, regardless of whichever background you belong to. So you need some book which can give you easy to understand knowledge so that you can write down on the paper. Maybe it's your entrance exam or maybe it's your descriptive university exams or internals, whatever. So I'm not going to just talk about that. I'm also going to talk about smart learning in which you have literally nothing to do with exams. You are going beyond exams. That means you are actually learning because you love to learn. Their exams don't matter. Their internals don't matter. Their entrance exams don't matter. Their nothing matters. So I am going to talk in that perspective. See, basically there is no best book for pharmacology because every book has been written by their own authors who are actually best at what they do. But just because they are best at what they do doesn't mean that you should grasp it easily. Like for example, if I am reading K.D. Tripathi, K.D. Tripathi is an amazing book. It's a very good book. It's filled with knowledge. But I always struggled in understanding concepts that has been explained in K.D. Tripathi. It doesn't mean that it should be the same for you. But this is my personal experience. If you give me K.D. Tripathi and if you give me another book, most probably I'll be preferring the other book. And the other book is Lippincott Pharmacology Reviews. I'll come to that. So let's talk about different pharmacology books and what I feel about that. So basically you have so many books. In, in fact, there are a lot of other books which I actually don't know about. So I can't comment. My experience with K.D. Tripathi has not been that good. But again, am I, I'm telling you, this is a disclaimer. This is my perspective. This is just my opinion. It doesn't mean that you have to follow suit. There are a lot of people who may study K.D. Tripathi and they can understand easily. But for me, it has been actually a struggle. Because whenever I approach a topic, I always believe that I know nothing. It's not that, for example, I have worked as a clinical pharmacist in antimicrobial stewardship. I have worked as an assistant professor dealing with pathophysiology, therapeutics, toxicology. But even today, when I approach a new topic for to guide you, or maybe when I approach a new topic to learn by my own, I always start from ground zero because I believe that I know nothing. So when you believe that you know nothing, you always start from ground zero. And when you start from ground zero, that means you are starting right from the basics. So when you are studying right from the basics and when you know nothing about that concept, if you are reading a book which is of a very high level, it will be like jumping into the ocean without a life jacket. You don't know to swim. You are jumping into the ocean. You don't have a life jacket also. What will be your condition? You will drown. And this is exactly the reason why whatever branch of medicine that you belong to, you have pharmacology as a subject, but you crack the exams also. You get distinction also. You get first class marks. You become the topper in that subject. But after few months, you forget everything. You just remember that, yes, you had written an exam. That's all. So why does that happen? Because the book that you referred only satisfied your exam perspective. It did not satisfy your smart learning perspective. And smart learning always means that you go beyond the exams. So KD Tripathi is a book which is actually filled with knowledge. There is no doubt about that. In fact, I'll tell you what are the benefits of that book. If you want to study classification, KD Tripathi is one of the best in the market now. If you want to study doses and different dosage forms and their preparation or maybe the brand names to some extent, then there is a small book of the same. 
KD3 part is doses and preparations like that something classification and doses you can that is good in fact KD3 part is, there is also another benefit uh, they have a pharmacology workbook also like uh, MCQ type so for every chapter they give MCQs and they give answers for that so these are good things these are literally good things like for example you finish a chapter you can go and take a KD3 part is uh, maybe MCQ book and you can try to find out how much you remember but if you look at the demerits personally speaking it is huge because most of the chapters they have been written in immense amount of language but for a person who knows nothing about that it will be too 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 tough to understand and this is my perspective so my personal suggestion is uh, because I usually don't give advice to people because Advice, I always believe that when you give advice to a person, you don't really understand their situation. But when you give a perspective, you are putting yourself in their shoes and you tell them what is what you would have done if you were in their place. So if my perspective tells me, if I tell you my perspective, I'll always prefer some simple books which will give me a base okay, about that topic. And once I get a good base on that topic, then I can develop. Like for example, if you want to build a good apartment, the base should be good. <laughs> if the base is not good and you are trying to build a Burj Khalifa or if you are trying to build a huge apartment or a skyscraper, what is the point? It will crash down. So the books that I personally prefer, number one, Tara V. Shanbag. It's a book for medical pharmacology by Tara V. Shanbag very very good book if you refer it it's written in extremely simple words there is another book known as Padmaja Uday Kumar I forgot the name of the book the author's name is Padmaja Uday Kumar please refer it out its PDF is available refer it out a very good book if you know nothing about that chapter if you read from that book you will get a base and definitely the next book that I am going to talk to you about is a book that I am literally in love with. Its international edition is available and South Asian edition is also available written by Indian authors. And that is Lipin Cord's Pharmacology Reviews. Once again, Lipin Cord's Pharmacology Reviews. Amazing book. The best part of that book is they actually mention adverse effects or side effects in pictures if you look at my ppt on insulin which i have mentioned in my playlist which i have explained in my playlist on diabetes you will see that i have uh, posted some pictures about adverse effects of you know hypoglycemia and insulin you will see that i have shared pictures of people sweating uh, somebody having tremors and all these things these are all shown in animated pictures so when you see something that is an animation or a video or something, you tend to remember it more easily. And that is the best part of Lippincott. Most of the things are explained in pictures, especially the adverse effects and side effects, which is actually very important in our today's generation where we tend to remember only nausea, vomiting and diarrhea as side effects. So please, please do buy that book. If it's a bit costly on the costlier side, PDF is available, but I think uh, the last PDF is 2019 or 18 edition, so it's a bit old. Uh, its newer edition is available on Amazon and I think on other uh, platforms also. Just check it out. Uh, if possible, please buy that book. It's literally worth the money. You will literally fall in love with pharmacology if you read that book. And obviously, Tarabi Shanbag and Padmaja Uday Kumar are very simple books that will give you the basic information that you need to know about a chapter. And it is not just for any particular branch, like it's not that only, uh, you know, it's for pharm a PharmD, a pharmacy, it's for medicos, it's for dentists. Anybody can read those books and get a very simple, basic, uh, you know, insight into the particular chapter in pharmacology. So this is my perspective. Obviously, once your base is very good, after that, if you want, you can go for higher books. There are a lot of higher books. We have KD Tripathi. We have Basic and Clinical Pharmacology by Bertram G. Katzang, which is a very high level book. We have Rang and Dale. We have uh, Satoskar. 
um, obviously the last part that we always go to is good man and gill man the pharmacological basis of therapeutics by good man and gill man it is the last level it's a super high level but uh, please make sure that you should study not only for exams you should study so that you can apply it in clinical field and also you know when you study and you remember it long term there is a sense of satisfaction the dopamine that you actually need or you know that uh, level of self confidence that makes you feel good about yourself to learn something more so to get to retain that memory you need to learn smart and the books that i suggested might help you in the process so this is my uh, perspective about you know the best books to study pharmacology i'll come with a video later as in how to study pharmacology in easy manner uh, that will be a detailed video in which i'll share some simple simple strategies that i employ because these are exactly the things that i did and if you look that if you look today my in around 73 74 days my youtube channel has around 7000 plus subscribers and still counting and in this 73 74 days i have around 1 lakh 10000 followers on instagram so this is because whatever i am sharing i am sharing in simple words so that everyone can understand because if i start speaking in complicated language in high level language only some people will understand the remaining people it will be like bouncer above the head nothing there is no use so that is why whenever you study something especially pharmacology therapeutics and all please make sure that you study in simple terms so that if anybody asks you to talk about it you can tell it by yourself rather than simply quoting the sentences from the book so i hope this video is informative for you please make sure that you subscribe to my youtube channel and do follow my instagram page for more amazing updates i'll be back with more amazing videos that will definitely catch your attention and prolong it for future days to come thank you so much for listening to me see you in the next video until then it's bye